Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn Azure Databricks and we will learn how to create a cluster and create a notebook and how to attach the notebook to the cluster and run all the commands in the notebook and how to choose the language that we prefer. We can prefer, we can pick SQL, Python, Scala or R language. Then after that, we'll learn how to create a table from your Databricks data set and how to manipulate the data and display the results. And we will do both with SQL and Python. And let's start. What is Azure Databricks? Azure Databricks is an Apache Spark based analytics platform optimized for the Microsoft Azure Cloud Services platform. It is designed with the founder of Apache Spark. Databricks is integrated with Azure to provide one-click setup, streamlined workflows, and an interactive workspace that enables collaboration between data scientists, data engineers, and business analysts. Let's start creating a cluster. So to create a cluster, so we need to go to the new cluster and click on new cluster. And we need to give a name. I'll just say cluster 01. And cluster more, we have to choose, depends on our preference. So let's choose standard and pool, let's keep it default, none. And Databricks runtime version, let's pick uh, Scala 2.12 and Spark 3.0.1. And let's create this cluster. So now, while this cluster is creating, then I will show you how to create a notebook. Go to notebook, click on new notebook, and we need to give a name. I'll say notebook 01. And here we can choose the language that we want. So if we want SQL, then we need to pick the SQL. So now you can, you may have a question. So once we pick this SQL, so while we run the commands in notebook, can we choose any other language yes we can choose i will show you while we run the commands in the notebook so for now we'll pick this language sql this is default language and let's create this notebook under cluster 01 so now we need to attach the cluster so the cluster is not ready yet it takes few minutes to get ready yeah, now let's check if the cluster is ready or not. Yes, the cluster is ready. Now let's attach this cluster. Now attach the notebook to the cluster. Are you sure you want to clear the notebook state? Yes, confirm it. Now I will create a table from a Databricks data set. So here we're creating a diamond table from a Databricks data set. So if the table diamonds exist, then drop it and create it. So now let's execute this command. So once this table is created, right? And then we will check the data and we will check if the data is available in the table. And I will show you how to manipulate the data and display the results. So if you want to open a new command and here on the plus icon, just click on insert a new cell, click on it. Now let's take select start from table diamonds. Now the command is running. Now we have data is available 
in this diamonds table. And here we can see the, the columns, carrot, cut, color, clarity, depth table. Now, if we want to run the, if we want to manipulate the data and check the results, and we can do that. And you can you can choose a new command or you can also run on existing command. But now uh, I'll just create a new command. And here now I'm checking the color and then average price from this diamond stable group by color. And let's run this command. So now we can see that how many colors available. There are seven colors available and we can see the price. Now, if we want to look at this uh, data, if you want to look at in the bar scatter map, you can choose it. Or if you want to keep it in the table, you can click on this. And let me click on the bar. So here we can see that the price and the color. Now, if we want to check, if we want to run one more query against this table, I'll just say color, cut, and I want to check the sum of the price. And group by color, and cut. Now let me run this comment. Now I want to see this data in table format. So now I will click on this draw table. Now we can see the data in the table format. So, so far we did this in SQL. So how do we, if we want to do it in Python, so how do we do that? So now I will show you how to do that, these operations using Python data frame API. So whenever you want to choose a new language, if you want to run a, if you want to run the commands with the new language, either Scala or, or Python, just enter percent and say Python. And run the command and Diamonds equal to spark dot read dot csv. So now we are reading data. It creates a data frame from a Databricks data set. So if you want to do the, the if you want to do it in scalar or just say scalar. So but for now we are doing in Python. So now let me run this command. So now, now we created the data frame from your Databricks data set. So now let me run, let me show you how to manipulate the data and check the result. So just say percent Python and import that average aggregate function and display from the diamonds table and select color price and group by color and the aggregate function average by price and sort by color. So now we can see that uh, seven colors available and we can see that average price. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to see this data in a different format, you can choose bar or line map area. You can choose anything you want. So here, if you want to choose it in pie chart, can, and we can always switch to raw table whenever we want, click on raw table. So now if you want to check the sum of the price, right? Then we, all we have to do, just import, I will copy this command and enter and import a sum package. And if you want to add one more column, if you want to add a cut, right? 
let me add a cut and group by color and cut now we want to check now we want to check the total amount and just say sum. Now run this command. So now we can see that color and then cut and uh, total price. So this is how we can do it in Azure Data Bricks. So let me repeat the steps what we covered so far in this module. And we created a cluster and we choose the data breaks runtime version scalar 2.12 and spark 3.0.1 and we create a notebook and we attach the notebook to the cluster and started running the commands in the notebook and we choose the default language sql and we did uh, we created table from a data bricks data set using sql and we manipulated data and check the results using SQL language. And then the next step we did using Python data frame API. We created a data frame from a Databricks data set and we manipulated data and check the results. And we also looked at in a different formats, pie chart and bar. And, and also we discussed how to switch back to a raw table format. So if you have any questions on this data breaks quick start please post in the comments if you like this video please subscribe like and share the channel thank you